superb. Welcome! Today we're going to check out a new game-changing AI function in FL Studio. And it's truly mind-blowing. And obviously it's AI stem separation. Now hear me out here, it's actually two reasons why stem separation is a really really useful function. So first up we can obviously extract stems to uh, make remixes. You probably have thousands of different projects uh, lying around on your different storage devices. But uh, shit happens and uh, thus we lose the, the product files and uh, any possibilities to remix the tracks or do anything. But with stem separation we can actually extract from the master files or the mixdown files. And the second reason is obviously to extract uh, samples and uh, reuse them in uh, future projects. So let's uh, take a look at the function in FL Studio. So first out we have uh, a little uh, old uh, game track that I wrote called the ATV Trap. Right, so it's super simple in FL Studio to extract the stems. We just uh, press uh, the top left corner of uh, the clips and uh, select uh, extract stems from sample. And by default we're extracting the drums, bass, instruments and vocals. And then uh, we can mute the source track when, when the function is done. And then just uh, press extract. Now this uh, takes uh, obviously a little bit of time and depending on uh, the length of your track it may be faster or slower. Now just like that we have the separate stems, so let's press command and solo the first track. So that's the drum all right. So let's listen to the second stem. So that's actually a pretty, pretty great result. And together. Right, so let's listen to the third stem. So you hear how clean that is? So let's compare it with uh, the original. So that's uh, a pretty damn great uh, extraction. And uh, it's actually quite complex uh, sounds in this track. Uh, you have this uh, like really complex bass going on and uh, there's strings and uh, all kinds of uh, different synth sounds in the background. And, it's uh, it's it's mind blowing how how an AI function can extract all the separate tracks just like that. So now I can easily just pick out this drum loop and reuse it for some other tracks. So that's really really great. Right, so let's look at the final stem here. It's uh, probably something that sounds similar to vocals. I guess uh, the AI function uh, perceived this as, as some kind of vocals. Yeah, so really, really great the result there on uh, on our first test. Okay, so let's uh, take another example, maybe something with the vocals. So we can take this track, Varien Glod in Skog. <laughs> it's a Swedish track. Någonstans i en skog sitter vargen och glod På en ensam måne där uppe Jag borde vara där nu, jag borde sitta bredvid Och titta på skenet när det blir mörkt Någonstans i en skog sitter vargen och glod På... Right, so let's uh, do some stem separation on this track. Press in the upper left corner, select extract stems from sample and extract. And now this is a shorter clip, so it will obviously finish faster. Right, let's see the stem separation. Let's begin by soloing the first track. Seems like we have the percussion on the first track. The 
the second stem seems to be empty. And then on the third stem we probably have the chords and, and that uh, organ kind of sound. And then on the F last track we have the vocals. Någonstans i en sko sitter vargen och glo På en ensam måne där uppe När det blir mörkt Yeah, so it did a pretty good job there at extracting the vocals from, from, this, uh, from this mix. Now this wasn't a, a too busy mix, but uh, it still managed to extract uh, like the vocal harmonies and, and keep them on the, on the same stem. Again, we have a really, really nice, sweet extracted percussive, percussive section and, and drum section, which we could again reuse uh, for some other project if, if we want this uh, particular sound. Superb. Right, so let's take another track. Here we have Gelhin Fly, which is uh, one of my melodic dubstep tracks. As you can hear, it's a pretty busy mix, so let's see how the stem separation handles this. Press the upper left corner, extract stems from sample, and extract. And that's the drums all right. Pretty clean extraction. Let's hear the chorus bass. Okay, so let's hear the vocals. Yeah, so it did extract the vocals there, but um, you can hear a little bit of stuff leaking in, but this is, again, a pretty dense uh, melodic, melodic dubstep mix, so... Uh, it's uh, pretty obvious that we would get some leakage, but... The drums, super clean, and also the instruments and, and the bass. Uh. But the verse is super clean since uh, it's a lighter mix on, on the verse. So again, let's uh, compare all uh, the stems and uh, the final mix. Let's uh, hear the chorus. Yeah, so that's a very little difference between uh, the original mix and the stems when we put them together. So what do you think about this new uh, AI technology implemented in FS Studio? I would personally really like to see this AI stem separation uh, functionality implemented in uh, Logic Pro and also in Bitwig Studio. And Because as I mentioned in the beginning, stem separation is super useful either out of a, like a backup uh, perspective or uh, from uh, reusing samples from products. Right, so please let me know in the comments what you think about this new tech and um, 
Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit that bell, the notification bell, so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. My name is Matthias. See you in the next one. Bye.